Object level security is an integrated part of uh, NAVI's security. The standard NAV um, object level security is not being used. Basically, every user typically get access to execute every object, at least if using the default permission sets in there. Both for the quick security and also for the more restricted segregation of duty level, is it possible to actually use the quick security? And we will have different permission sets uh, for each of them. So you can have very restrictive for segregation of duties. And some users will be using quick security and have less restriction on objects. It is really the best way of controlling the chart of accounts uh, and many of the other things showing information in the system because you can't avoid people having the access uh, to the data because it's part of the process to do, but you can avoid them having the objects that shows it, of course. The object properties is uh, where you control all this one and the calculations happens automatically during a publish. And that's a reason to do the full publish compared to uh, a selected publish. You can find the information about object level security uh, inside the security setup inside uh, NAVI's security in here. And there's really two parts of it. One is object level security, and that's the more restrictive version of it. The other one is uh, part of the quick security in here. There's two permission sets being built by the system. One is uh, ES underscore tech underscore all OBJ free. And it's based both on the setup uh, and then also the object properties. So if we look at this first, I will see that by default, I limit all reports. I will be able to add reports to this permission sets, but by default, no permission sets or, or no permissions for reports will be in there. All code units, all pages will be in there and all queries, but no XML ports either. So if I look at this right now, I can see there's uh, 3,200 permissions in here. For quick security, every object is by default included in here. And in that way, um, there will be more objects inside this permission set because I will have reports and XML ports included also. And I can see there's 3,900 objects. This one will always be built uh, every time you publish uh, as part of the process, and it will uh, update it with new objects based on the setup in here. If we look at the object properties, that's where you will control this one in here. And if I wanted to remove the chart of account page, that is page 16, I would, uh, for quick security, go make the change here to be no access. If I also wanted to take it away uh, from the other part, the segregation of duty level, object level security, I'll put a checkbox in the object level permissions in here. So basically this one will now have removed the objects. If I go back and test, I have two functions up here where I can actually calculate these manually um, to be able to see what they contain. And if I now go look at uh, my all OBJ free, for example, down here, I would see that my page 16 is missing in here. I have a lot of code units, but if I go up to the beginning uh, where I should have found the reports, I have no reports in here. The other one about the quick security, I will of course have all the objects for report in here also. If I go down to my pages, I will also see a missing 16 in here. So that's basically how you would take objects away from people. Uh, the way to gain them back again is, of course, by getting a permission set that included. And the permission sets we ship with Easy Security actually contains uh, both object and data access. Uh, so that's a simple way of simply giving that back to people again. There's also uh, a much smarter functions to add these records than manually in here. We can use the relations. The relations is the output of the source code analysis. 
and let's say I want to give back um, reports that actually show something about the customer in here. So I can now see in my relations, I'll go back and find objects that has relation to table data and that has relations um, to the customer table that is 18 in here. I can now see all the reports that actually is part or using that table in here. And if I actually wanted to add all the ones uh, about um, or using the customer table in here, I would be able to select these ones and add them to free access objects. These two functions use for object level security. This one is used for quick security. So I'll add these for free objects now. So I now added 16 reports back in there. As I added the reports, I'll see in here they have been added with no check mark in object level security. Basically, they will now be included in here. We also have functions that can find information uh, based on a functional area. So if I'm looking for report and pages, and I want to see things related to financial management, we just apply a filter based on a whole list of tables related to showing finance information, like journal lines, GL accounts, bank information, and so on in here. I now have a long list of reports in here, uh, and also a list of pages that are showing that information. And I can go ahead and take those objects away in here for the more restricted level by adding them to limited access objects. So I now removed 135 objects uh, in here. I can also remove them from quick security and basically make them no access in here. So all I did now, I went and modified or added records in here. And I'll see all these things like uh, check report, for example, it's no access and it's marked for object level security out here. Same goes for pages uh, like uh, the general journals and things like that one. They have now been also removed. So if I update my all three and I update my quick security permission sets, I'll be able to see in here that I had 3,900 and 3,200 in here before. Now I'm having some reports that I gave to people. And then I would see a lot of the pages would be taken away in here. For the other part, the quick security uh, object level, I also have uh, reports in here, but I'm missing report one and the first ones because they show financial information. And of course, if I go down to the pages, I will see my chart of account is missing down here, my GL entries and many other things, uh, including uh, my journal lines and things like that one in here. So it allows a great control by removing the important things. And in the case of segregation of duty, object level security, default removing all reports that is really showing a lot of information that is not necessarily uh, needed for everybody when you do more restrictive security in here. All this is of course updated as part of the publish one of the first thing that is happening during a publish process is actually that uh, it will calculate uh, quick security and it will calculate object level security as you see uh, is doing in here uh, right now. So you don't really have to think how this work. You just go to the object properties, make your changes as you want. And then as part of the publish, it will add new objects if something shows up depending on the settings and it will calculate uh, based on the object properties, of course. So object level security is really controlling the last 10% of the NAV security, allowing people to still be posting documents, but not seeing the pages with the financial information or the reports. Um, standard NAV permission sets will give you all the access in there to objects. So you really wanna use the one that uh, we provide for getting into the NAV database.